Goddamn. But that's not the only thing I'm going to talk about today. Uh, because we've got a part two to this story. And uh, so Kamala Harris has COVID. And uh, Tony Fauci says that uh, the United States is no longer in a pandemic. The United States is finally, quote, out of the pandemic phase, the country's top infectious disease expert said in a television interview Tuesday, as cases and hospitalizations are notably down and mask mandates are all but gone. Like, what is that? So, what? So, like, mask mandates. This is somehow like a, like, analyzing the weather, right? It's like, you know, like, if you're in, like, New Orleans, right, and you're working on the levees or whatever. Well, like, I mean, we stopped working on the levees, so, I mean, I guess the flooding is no longer a risk. What? That's like, you know, I don't know, like you, you accidentally cut yourself with a knife and then you, you know, well, I didn't get a bandage. So, you know, is it, is my knife, is my finger really been cut open? I didn't, I didn't get a bandage. So is it really? I don't know. I don't think so. It's like you take a shit and you don't wipe. I mean, was there really shit in my asshole? I didn't wipe. There's no shit, so therefore, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. We are certainly right now in this country out of the pandemic phase. Anthony S. Fauci, President Biden's chief medical advisor, said Tuesday on PBS's NewsHour when asked by anchor Judy Woodruff if the country was near the end of the pandemic. Fauci expanded on and clarified his views in an interview Wednesday morning with the Washington Post, saying the global pandemic is ongoing, but the United States is transitioning to a period in which the virus is no longer causing the level of hospitalization and death seen during the Omicron wave of the infection this past winter. Like, what? Okay, so... Let me get this start. Let me get this understood. So, April and March of 2020, right? COVID cases were like lower than what we're seeing over the last couple of months in most of the country yet at that moment in time it was like oh we got to lock down we got to you know some states did that right then look at 2020 you know look at winter 2020 before the vaccine right like these are all things that are like you know winter to the dark winter remember when joe biden got elected and he was like oh there's going to be a dark winter or whatever right that was like maybe like what, one third, one quarter of the intensity of the Omicron wave. But now the Omicron wave exists, right? So everything else, as long as it's not Omicron, we're good to go, right? It's not exactly what the CDC said like a couple weeks ago. As long as we're not doing what we were doing during Omicron, we are good to go. We're good to go. As long as it's, it's, it's at least like 0.9, like, you know, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I fucked up my percentage terms, but you know, as long as it's slightly less than Omicron, we're good to go. If it's worse than Omicron, then we're back in the pandemic. Like this idea that like judging everything by the worst part of it. It's like, yeah, sure. I got shot and you know, there's a giant hole in my liver, but there's not a hole in my heart. So I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't even go to the doctor. You know what I like? I like, it's like, what the fuck? Like, I just, like, I, I really, like, the CDC changes all their metrics, right? People who are uninsured are less likely to get COVID coverage, right? People are less likely to just go to the hospital, right? And then also factor in that we've kind of just, like, burnt through a lot of the population. Like, let's be honest. We kind of have just, like, said, you know what? Fuck the American people. Let's just keep burning through people until they die. Million people dead. Millions of people sick for the rest of their lives. Fauci expanded on, blah, blah, blah. The world is still in the pandemic. There's no doubt about that. Don't anybody get misinterpretation of that. We are still experiencing a pandemic. Okay, so a pandemic phase is over. And yet we are still in the pandemic. Great messaging from Fauci. Why is it that these people, like, again, it's one thing. If you're like a doctor and you're having a conversation, like at the dinner table, you know, you don't have to have everything like, you know, I think we're out of the pandemic phase. And then your uncle's like, what, really? And then you're like, oh, well, I mean, you know, at least in this current time, you know, I think I feel like, but when you are like the top doctor in the country, people view you as some sort of like, you know, like messenger, you got to watch how you fucking message things, right? Like, again, like that's like, these people have no media training. They don't know how to talk to people. They're fucking stupid. And they're just lying. Like these people are lying. We're out of the pandemic phase. What? 
What? Because of mask mandates being over? I just like, ugh. Were we out of the pandemic phase in May of 2021 after the vaccine came out before the Delta variant? We had like, what, three to four months before the Delta variant? Was that, oh, pandemic's over until it's back. What? I just don't get it. Uh, there's a full-blown pandemic dynamic, the way we were months ago when we were having 900,000 cases a day. I love how they don't say a million cases a day. Like, like we hit a million cases a day, but, uh, you know, eh, we don't want to say a million. Let's say 900,000. Tens of thousands of hospitalizations, 3,000 deaths a day. He said the deaths went from 3,000 down to 300. Last May, Fauci said he thought the virus could reach the control stage by autumn. The Delta variant soon rendered that impossible. Omicron then caused the biggest wave of cases yet. New Omicron subvariants BA2 and BA2.1, 2.1 have spread since and are even more trans transmissible than previous strains. And nationally, the case numbers are rising again, but so far there has not been a surge in hospitalizations. So cases are going up. Cases are going up. But we're exiting the pandemic phase. Like, what? Judging everything by whether or not it's on hospitalizations is not how you control a fucking pandemic. Like, if everyone is sick but no one's going to the hospital, and then everyone is sick goes to the bar, and then I'm at the bar, and they get me sick and I don't go to the hospital, does that mean that the pandemic is over because I'm not going to the hospital? What? What? That's like, again, imagine there's like a fucking, like, there's like gun violence, right? Right? And then like a whole school bus full of kids gets shot up, right? And then like, you know, eight of them, like, just bleed out instantly, they're shot dead. And then like three of them, they're not bleeding out instantly, but they might die, but they choose not to go to the hospital. Does that mean that the gun violence against kids cases are going down because some of them chose not to go to the hospital? Or couldn't afford healthcare coverage? Or can't afford to take that day off? Does that mean that all of a sudden, they don't have bullet holes in their goddamn face? Like, I just like, I, like, like, I, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't with this fucking shit. It's so goddamn fucking stupid, I can't, I really can't. Right now, we're at a low enough level that I believe that we're transitioning into endemicity. We're not in a full-blown explosive pandemic phase. That does not mean that the pandemic is over. A pandemic means widespread infection throughout the world. In our country, we're transitioning into more of a controlled endemicity. That's not true, though. Okay, a pandemic means widespread infection. Now, again, note the language here. Note the language. Note the language. So, cases are going up. But the widespread infection is no longer happening. So cases are going up. More people are getting infected. And that's exiting the pandemic phase. And pandemic is defined as widespread infection. So pandemic is a defined widespread infection. Cases are going up. Wastewater testing going up. Right? Deaths are pretty much, you know, around the horizontal range. But hospitalizations, not as many people are going to the hospital. So therefore, they're not getting infected. Therefore, they're not getting sick. I, what? This is Dr. Anthony Fauci, apparently the top epidemiologist in the country, uh, apparently not bought and paid for, apparently not a political weapon of whatever administration he's working for at the moment. Totally rational and very well-spoken individual who has no problems with messaging. Restrictions are easing as many Americans appear to be putting the pandemic behind them. Masking requirements have been lifted across most of the country and officials stopped enforcing a federal mask mandate in transportation settings after a judge struck down the requirement. I love how the language here, the language is so fucking stupid. Officials stopped enforcing a federal mask mandate. Like they're at, they're saying like, oh, they just stopped, right? Because the pandemic is, is over, right? So the officials just stopped enforcing it. No, a right-wing Trump judge said fuck you and, like, weaponized the fucking position that they have to fuck over the American people. That has nothing to do... Oh, the officials stopped enforcing it. Enforcing what? They can't enforce something if, if it's not the fucking... If it's not legal, you know, because of our stupid fuck system. Right? I just like, what? What? During the pandemic's darkest moments, many wondered when the country would be able to declare itself past the disaster, which has killed nearly one million Americans. 
What? When was this article written? Today. This article was written today. Hold up. That has killed nearly one million Americans. Like, am I insane? Like, am I insane right now? Like, am I crazy? Like, am I fucking, am I losing my mind? Okay. Which has killed nearly one million Americans. This was published today. This was published today. Like, at nine, this is like an hour old article. I'm looking at the Worldometer page. One million, like, we hit a million a while ago. Like, what is, like, what is with this, like, who is what? <laughs> like, what's happening here? Like, this is the Washington Post. Yeah, the pandemic's over. We're nearing a million deaths, even though we hit the million threshold, like, two months ago. But we're nearing a million deaths. Like, what? Fauci's comments are likely to fuel debate about the, how the country should handle this moment. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said Tuesday that as of the end of February, nearly 60% of Americans, including three out of every four children, have been infected with the coronavirus. Nearly 60%. What? And that, and we could just move on? Like, oh, 60% of the country got sick, and they're probably going to have to have, like, some extra health care protections and insurance uh, rates are going to go up, but... Everything is fine. But officials cautioned that the data did not indicate that Americans have widespread immunity against the virus because of their prior, prior infections. This natural immunity thing, I mean, like, that was debunked, like, a year ago, and yet still people pretend as if it might be true, maybe, it could be true. Like, we were seeing people getting infected with Omicron and then getting reinfected with Omicron, like, three weeks later, right? Like, so... While previous infections are believed to offer some protection against serious disease, for most people, health experts say the best protection against infection and serious disease or death is vaccination. The coronavirus will not be eradicated, Fauci told PBS, but can be handled if the level of its spread is kept very low and people are intermittently vaccinating, vaccinated, though he, did not, though he said he did not know how frequently that would need to happen. And he echoed warnings from the World Health Organization and the United Nations this month that worldwide the pandemic is far from over as vaccination rates remain too low, particularly in developing nations. So think about this. We have the vaccine, right? Like, here we go again. So we have the vaccine. It exists. And yet vaccination rates are still low all across the world. What? If you, like, okay. So it is April 27th. 2022 the vaccine has been out for over a year now i got my first dose like like you know 53 weeks ago 54 weeks ago right and i was like you know i'm, I'm a regular person so i got my dose when it was publicly available people started to get their vaccinations you know even even further back than that and yet somehow so the vaccine exists we got it and yet the world still has low vaccination rate what what? Why don't we just give them the vaccine? <laughs> like, we got it. We figured it out. Why don't we just give it to them? I don't understand. Oh, right. Because pharmaceutical companies need, the, need their money. I forgot. What are they going to do without their cash? The Biden administration, meanwhile, is appealing a ruling by Trump appointed judge that struck down the federal transportation mask mandate, including on planes, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Nothing good is going to come from that, so it doesn't matter. And then a reminder that the coronavirus is still present. The White House on Tuesday announced arguably the nation's highest profile coronavirus infection since President Donald Trump in 2020, saying the Vice President Harris had tested positive and was asymptomatic. She was not considered a close contact to Biden. I mean, she's like, Biden doesn't like her, so, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't. But I mean, like, what the fuck? Like, am I broken? Like, are we going through loops right now? Is this like some Twilight Zone ass shit? So I want everyone to remind ourselves here. What is the title of this? U.S. is no longer in full-blown pandemic phase. What does full-blown even mean? Like, like, and also we're nearing a million deaths. Meanwhile, like we hit that number like months ago. So who wrote this article? Why does it exist? Brian Petosh and Joel Ackenbach. Who are these fucking morons? These are the motherfuckers. Like we need, like, this is why I advocate to bring back tomatoes throwing tomatoes at people. This is why I advocate for this. These people should not be allowed to walk around without being tarred and feathered. These motherfuckers are dumb as hell. They are liars, propagandists, right? Morons. They don't even know basic fucking math, right? Like they can't even speak fucking English. They don't know how to write a fucking article. We need to bring back the idea that people who write stupid shit online deserve to have th tomatoes thrown at them. Like I just, 
tar and feather them, throw tomatoes at them, put them in the thing that makes them go like this or whatever, you know, that thing where I put them in there because otherwise they're just like, when will they learn a goddamn lesson? Like, what the fuck is this shit? This is so irresponsible on every goddamn level. Like, Anthony Fauci, given his position, should know how to message things, like, you know, without being, like, the doofus at the beginning of don't look up, right? Like, you shouldn't, like, we're, like, what, three fucking years into this fucking shit? We're, like, three fucking years into this fucking shit? You should learn how to fucking speak to people on television, you goddamn motherfucking idiot. Okay, so second of all, right, so Fauci, dumb as fuck. The CDC changing their metrics, dumb as fuck. The Washington Post writing this article, dumb as fuck. Every layer is fucking stupid. Every single person involved in the production of this, besides me, is a goddamn moron. Everything I've opened up for the last 30 minutes on my show, motherfuckers. These are motherfuckers. I, I really, I can't. Like, they're just fucking dumb. They're crazy. It's crazy. This is crazy. This is some crazy fucking shit. This is some crazy ass fucking shit. I like, I mean, like, wow. This is some crazy shit. We're no longer in the full blown pandemic. We're still in a pandemic, but it's not full blown. If you ask, like, what what like like imagine being in the room with Fauci as he's saying oh we're, we're the full-blown pandemic phase is over and you ask him what does full-blown mean like what like when does the pandemic go from pandemic to full-blown pandemic like what is that dividing line like this is unhelpful vague language now again if some if Joe Rogan were to say something like this you know what he's Joe Rogan he's a shit fuck head podcaster right this is not Joe Rogan. This is like a fucking top scientist, again, got bought and paid for by the government, a corrupt fucking cool, a ghoul, right? But he should be decent in messaging. He should not be making these fucking mistakes that someone like fucking Joe Rogan would make. Like, Joe Rogan would be held to a higher account if he were to have said this exact thing. In fact, I'm sure Joe Rogan has said this exact thing. People would be more upset with him. Anthony Fauci says it. Oh, hey, it's an Anthony Fauci. Oh, like what? Okay, so it's a pandemic, but it's not full blown. It's half blown. What's the like? What is this like? What? What? I can't with this fucking shit. Only the really. I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. Too dumb.